Hi, little bucks. It's me, Mrs. Weiss from The Squirrel Class, and I'm going to read to you The Sun, the Moon, and the Silver Baboon today. Every morning, the sun rises and scatters golden light across the blue sky. The rooster crows and the birds sing, and a bright new day begins. Every evening, when the sun goes to bed, the sky fills with stars and the moon lights the land with a gentle silver moonbeams. But one night, a star came loose from the sky. Burning bright as a comet, it tumbled to the earth and became tangled in the branches of a tree. Please help, called the moon to the animals who were awake. I cannot leave the sky without all my stars. Don't worry, said the owls. We will fly up and pull the star from the tree. Don't worry, said the insects. We will crawl up and eat the branches holding it. We are clever, said the foxes. We'll think of something. But the owls couldn't quite pull hard enough. The insects couldn't quite eat enough. And the foxes couldn't think of anything to do. Hurry, said the moon. It will soon be dawn. Sure enough, the rooster soon crowed and the sun came up. Now all the animals were awake and amazed to find the sun, the moon, and the stars all together in the sky. Help me, the star called to them. My tail is caught and I cannot get free. Don't worry, said the giraffes. We are tall. We will lift you out of the tree. Don't worry, said the elephants. We are strong. We'll shake you out. Ha 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 ha, laughed the hyenas, who were no help at all. But the giraffes weren't quite tall enough. The elephants weren't quite strong enough. And the hyenas just couldn't stop laughing. Soon all the animals were talking and arguing about what to do next. The noise was tremendous. The uproar could be heard even in the distant mountains where a brown baboon was sleeping. His ears began to twitch and his sleepy eyes slowly opened. He yawned and stretched and then padded down the mountain to find out what all the fuss was about. arguing, they didn't notice the brown baboon. He took one look at the star in the tree and he saw what needed to be done. Like a shadow, he slipped through the noisy crowd and climbed the tree. His quick, nimble fingers loosened the tangled tail and soon the star was free. Up, 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 the star flew high into the sky. Thank you, said the moon. Now the night can end. And the moon gave the baboon a coat as silver as moonlight. Thank you, said the sun. Now the day can begin. And the sun gave the baboon a face as warm as sunlight. Now the baboon is no longer brown. From the tip of his crimson nose to the end of his fine silver, silver tail, he shines as bright as any 